Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with RC Groups, and I'm excited today to be in the offices of Gator RC. Gator RC's been on RC Groups for a while now, and you can find them on Flying Giants and RC Groups. Today we're going to talk about the history of the company, what they sell, and uh, anything that we need to be aware of for the trade show. And so we are off to your right here, you can see Mike and Ashley of Gator RC. So guys, if let's just start out by talking about how you got in the hobby. Well, it's a long history. <laughs> um, I actually went to a flying field in 1959 with my father. I was uh, seven years old and he crashed his airplane on, uh, within about 10 seconds and my mother almost killed him. But he survived, and we continued with the hobby. I personally have started flying in 1961. I started uh, very pattern-centric most of my career. Um, we, um, we started competing. My father and I started competing in 1964 in pattern with Reed's radios. Uh, progressed. Uh, he had really good success. Um, in the pattern world, uh, including a uh, multiple time TLC flyer. Uh, but then life got in the way, and um, for quite a period of time, maybe, oh, I'd say about, let me see, it was so about 14 years, I uh, didn't have any involvement in the hobby until the year 2000 and uh, started flying strictly pattern. I, I had no experience with warbirds or jets. And uh, as our company, uh, well, basically what had happened is uh, in 2013, I, I worked in the printing industry for 41 years. In 2013, I actually lost my job because the company that I was managing got sold to a bigger company. And we, uh, we had already been running a company called F3A Unlimited for about three years. My wife and I were managing the company while I was working. She did it full time. And uh, we ended up buying F3A Unlimited. And part of buying F3A Unlimited is we acquired the rights and the name to Gator RC, which were owned by F3A Unlimited at that time. Now, Gator RC is a company that was started in Pensacola, Florida, by a gentleman named Rob Chigi, who's very famous in the pattern world. And um, that was started in the uh, early 70s. So uh, we acquired Gator RC, but we were only using it uh, for a few parts, wing tubes, stab adjusters, wing adjusters, and we were manufacturing parts uh, that they had designed. And then what happened was uh, we decided we wanted to uh, grow our business into uh, Warbirds and Jets. F3A was not the right uh, company to be selling Warbirds and Jets uh, uh with yeah. so we did was we um we spun uh spun f3a unlimited off into another uh well they're dbas you know another doing business as uh website uh, gator rc but both our companies f3a unlimited and gator rc actually work together the orders just come through on the same system it's just they're distinguished by what website the person had purchased an order from and we're strictly an e-commerce business and uh, we do this for a good reason. Um, today's environment, uh, the overhead of a uh, brick and mortar is extremely difficult. You can see hobby shops closing left and right. Today's environment requires that you have a very low overhead because margins are very margin. They're very reduced in this business compared to what they were 30 years ago. So you have to have a way to survive, and that's we. And, and another uh, strategy that our company has is that we uh, we direct import most of the products that we sell. We have agreements with um, about twenty different manufacturers worldwide, anywhere from Argentina, um, the Czech Republic, Germany, South Korea, Vietnam, China. We import directly from the companies so that we have enough margin to survive. So this is where our company's at. Ashley, my daughter, Ashley Hanson, my daughter came on board about um, oh, almost a year now. She's a marketing uh, person. She's doing a great job for us. Uh, as you can see, if you've been following our company, you'll see we have new websites. Uh, we have more of a presence on 
forums like RC groups and Flying Giants. Uh, we also have um, uh, more of a presence on Facebook and uh, we're doing more printed advertising and Instagram. So then all these things are coming in and starting to help us grow our company. And so we have the trade show going on and I, I pinged you guys and said, hey, is there anything that our users need to know about for the show? And so what do we have? What, what should they be looking for and when they head over to your store and want to hit that buy button? Well, so first of all, we're going to be offering 5% um, off on everything aside from our top RC model line. Um, and the reason being is that we, with the coronavirus stuff, the production out of China has been a little bit slower than normal. So we're actually sort of running low on those supplies. Um, but we're hoping to get a shipment out pretty soon here. Um, but with Seagull model, we have close to probably, I don't know, 120 different planes now. No, Seagull, we have, sorry. <laughs> no, we have about 50 different airplanes that we import from Seagull, including the uh, new B-25 that's behind us, uh, which is a 95-inch wingspan, retracts, uh, very detailed airplane, very well done. Uh, this particular one, we have 20cc RCGF rear exhaust engines, which we sell. Every single solitary piece of equipment that went into the B-25 behind us is supplied by uh, Gator RC, okay? Our product line now includes over 2,000 products. We have 600 proprietary private label and manufactured products. So we do everything from soup to nuts. For instance, propellers. We stock 350 different types of propellers. We have probably over 75 different types of, of servos that we sell, including what we feature is King Mac servos. They're really good for the jets and the warbirds. Uh, and you know, you don't have to go broke putting high quality servos into an airplane. We have servos that are brushless, that uh, have torques over 400 on them. They're wide voltage servos and they're selling for $75 a piece. If you compare that to a high end line like a Fataba or a JR, you'd be talking about a servo that would be very close to $200. So we have a lot of options for our customers. What we like to do when we uh, hear a customer wants to buy one of our airplanes, very often we'll do a full we'll do a full list of equipment that goes into that airplane and provide it to the customer, so that they don't have to go shop everywhere else. We like to be absolutely ready for them for everything they need. It makes their job a lot easier, and uh, that's that's our focus. We're direct importers for Seagull models. We, we have a cooperation with VQ Warbirds and we sell VQ model airplanes, which is another, at least another 50 airplanes. We are the importer for Top RC model. Okay, top RC model airplanes are all composite. They're very high end, including our new Voyager jet, which is 128 inches long. Um, it's a 200 to a 300 size turbine. We have some major league airplanes. We have the new Corsair, which is very hard for us to keep in stock. We have beautiful F-16s. Uh, we have in stock FW-190s, Zeros, four different types of P-51s. All these are composite airplanes. Every, pretty much everybody in the industry is starting to recognize our airplanes as being as being uh, one, of, one of the best choices they could have for a scale Airplane. And I would say just um, to maybe back on that with the Corsair. So we um, had a pretty large shipment that we sold out of almost before we even, I think we actually did sell them out before we even got them here out of China. Um, so in regards to that on our site, you'll see that you can be notified when something's back in stock. And if you're interested in a plane, I think that that's something that you should definitely take advantage of because they'll go fast. We'll put them on sale once we know that they've left the manufacturer so that we can start selling them as they're basically getting shipped over here. Um, and that one, we know that we're going to be getting probably a large stock in, but again, we don't know. We expect that it'll sell out pretty fast. So if it's something that people are interested in, we definitely 
want them to take advantage of that link on our site so that they can get notified when it's in stock. Yeah, the beauty of a all composite airplane is that it doesn't, you know, it has no monocode. You don't have to worry about anything, um, you know, going in the sun and wrinkling and and also they're a lot stronger than uh, conventional built up airplanes, but you know, it is at a cost. They do cost more. There's no doubt about it, but you know, you kind of like it's the old adage, you get what you pay for it, you know? So, so you may not know this prior to working at RC groups, I worked at Hobby Lobby and we carried a lot of warbirds back in the day. And uh, that involved a lot of getting new models, flying the models, uh, getting back with the manufacturer, giving our input, and then uh, finalizing the the product piece that we sold. So how much of this do you have a hand in of uh, making sure they're flying right and a product that you want to carry? Well, we work with a number of people that build our airplanes for us, test them, give us feedback. Uh, it's impossible for my company to do every airplane because being 100 and Somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 different airplanes, it's pretty hard to test them all, but we work with a large network of people that have tested our airplanes or posting on it. We take the feedback. Um, all of our manufacturers are very receptive to making changes if necessary. Most of our airplanes are pretty refined by the time we get them, um, especially the top RC model stuff. It's just, it flies right out of the box. I mean, we just never, ever, had anyone say that one of our models didn't really fly well. Plus, they're very light, which is a big deal. A lot of people don't think that Warbirds, uh, their weight is important. What is important on every single model airplane that you built? Sorry, it is. You know, so we we really focus on um, you know the flying ability of every airplane that we sell. So. We know about the the uh, RC Group's deal, which uh, during the week when that goes live, will they be able to find that on your homepage? Will it be something they can only access from the uh, feature article in the RC Group's trade show? Uh, to get to where, I'm sorry. To get to the uh, coupon code? Oh, yeah. So they can just, um, at the checkout there, we're going to set up the RCG5 code. Um, so once they put it in at the checkout, then they'll be able to receive that discount on everything. Awesome. And do we want to take a look at the B25 behind you, since I'm pretty sure you spent some time putting that together for the broadcast today? <laughs> sure. So uh, what can you tell us about it? Tell us about the retracts and the motors and all that good stuff. Okay, so uh, there's a 95-inch wingspan. The, uh, the engines that we put in here are uh, twin RCGF 20 rear exhaust, okay? Uh, the, um, the retracts are an optionized airplane. They're about a $500 option. They actually work very well. Um, the um, the model's very detailed. It has, let's see if we can get a close up, you know, like all the pilots. Okay, so they're all the pilots, the gunners. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a problem on it yet, but that's, uh, you know, it has the cover on there. In the future, and this will be as our next batch, we're actually going to hear the current at the top that moves. So this is a pop. It's full doors on all the retracks. Um, I believe, uh, say this, I believe this has, this airplane has 16 servos in it. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot of airplane. Uh, the airplane. 